numbers in our previous class we have learned about numbers number names numbers that come before numbers that come after and between numbers now let us learn more in numbers ordinal numbers ordinal numbers tells us the position of an object in a row or in a column first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth and so on are called ordinal numbers let us learn these numbers through some examples shall we find the object for the given ordinal numbers third floor find out the third floor in this row start counting first second third this is the third floor fifth bird let us find the fifth bird start counting first second third fourth fifth this is the fifth bird. First ice cream. Let us find the first ice cream. Start counting. First. This is the first ice cream. Eighth hat. Where is the eighth hat? First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Yes, this is the 8th hat. 10th apple. Find out the 10th apple. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. This is the 10th apple. Let us now find out the position of the given fruits. Pomegranate lies dash in the group count the position first second it lies second in the group apple lies dash in the group first second third fourth fifth it lies fifth in the group grapes lies dash in the group first second third it lies third in the group mango lies dash in the group first it lies first in the group banana lies dash in the group first second third fourth banana lies fourth in the group even numbers Numbers ending with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 are called even numbers. Let us now circle the even numbers in the given 5 numbers. 43 ends with 3, so it is not an even number. 46 ends with 6, so it is an even number. Circle it. 47 ends with 7, so it is not an even number. 41 ends with 1, so it is not an even number. 48 ends with 8, so it is an even number. Circle it. Odd numbers. Numbers ending with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are called odd numbers. Let us now circle the odd numbers in the given five numbers. 32 ends with 2, so it is not an odd number. 35 ends with 5, so it is an odd number. Circle it. 37 ends with 7, so this is an odd number. Circle it. 38 ends with 8. This is not an odd number. 31 ends with 1. So, it is an odd number. 
circle it abacus and place value this is an abacus it has a wooden board as a base with wires which has balls sliding on it each wire has different colors of balls to represent different place values of numbers let us learn the place value of numbers with the help of it in this abacus we have five purple balls in the ones place it means there are five ones move one step left you have three pink balls in the tens place it means there are three tens one step to the left you have two blue balls in the hundreds place it means there are two hundreds next there are four green balls in the thousands place it means there are four thousands the leftmost wire represents the ten thousands place there are seven red balls there it means there are seven ten thousands so we get the number seventy four thousand two hundred and thirty five now let us read the abacus and write the numbers here there are one two three pink balls in the ones column it means there are three ones there are one two three four five six blue balls in the tens column it means there are six tens there are one, two, three, four green balls in the hundreds column. It means there are four hundreds. Therefore, four hundreds plus six tens plus three ones. That is, four hundred plus sixty plus three is equal to four hundred and sixty-three. We write this in words as. 463 ordering of numbers let us first study the rules for ordering numbers rule 1 if two numbers have different number of digits the number with more digits is greater for example we have 12 chocolates in the first row and 4 chocolates in the second row 12 has 1 10 and 4 has no tens. So, 12 is greater than 4. We write this as 12 is greater than 4. Rule 2. In the given two numbers, both of two digits, the number which has more tens is greater. For example, let us take two numbers, 34 and 12. 34 has three tens and 12 has 1 tenths 3 is greater than 1 so 34 is greater than 12 we write this as 34 is greater than 12 rule 3 in the given two numbers both of three digits the number which has more hundreds is greater for example let us take two numbers 256 and 132 here 256 has two hundreds and 132 has 100 therefore 256 is greater than 132 we write this as 256 greater than 132 rule 3a if both the numbers have the same digits in the hundreds place, we compare the digits in the tens place. The number which has more tens is greater. For example, let us take two numbers 467 and 432. Here, both 467 and 432 has the same number 4 in the hundreds position. In this case, compare the numbers in the tens position.
there are six tens in 467 and three tens in 432. So, six is greater than three. Therefore, 467 is greater than 432. We write this as 467 greater than 432. Rule 3b. If both the numbers have the same digit in the hundreds and tens place also, we compare the digits in the ones place. The number which has more ones is greater. For example, let us take two numbers, 367 and 364. Here, both numbers have 3 in the hundreds place and 6 in the tens place. So, now let us compare the ones place. 367 has 7 ones and 364 has 4 ones. Therefore, 367 is greater than 364. We write this as 367 greater than 364. Rule 4. If both the numbers are same, then insert equal to symbol between them. For example, let us take the numbers 246 and 246. Here, all the places have the same numbers. So both the numbers are equal. 246 is equal to 246. We write this as 246 equal to 246. Ascending order. Arranging numbers from the smallest to the greatest is called as ascending order. First, we arrange the one-digit numbers from the smallest to the greatest. Next, we arrange the two-digit numbers from the smallest to the greatest. Then, we arrange the three-digit numbers from the smallest to the greatest and so on. Let us arrange these numbers in ascending order. 23, 8, 15, 46 and 53. First comes 8, as it is the only one-digit number. Next comes 15, as it has only one tens and five ones. Next comes 23, with two tens and three ones. Next comes 46, with four tens and six ones. And finally 53, as it has the highest number of tens, that is five tens and three ones. Descending order. Arranging numbers from the greatest to the smallest is called as descending order. Here, first we arrange the three digit numbers from the greatest to the smallest. Next, we arrange the two digit numbers from the greatest to the smallest. And finally, we arrange the one digit numbers from the greatest to the smallest. Let us arrange these numbers in descending order 43, 78, 21, 15 and 65. Here all the numbers are two digit numbers. We have to first compare the tens to arrange them. 78 is the greatest number with 7 tens and 8 ones. Next comes 65 with 6 tens and 5 ones. Then comes 43 with 4 tens and 3 ones. Then it is 21 with 2 tens and 1 ones. And finally comes 15 with 1 tens and 5 ones. Successor and predecessor of a number. To understand this concept better, let us take three numbers, 5, 6 and 7. Here, 5 is the predecessor of 6 because 5 comes before 6 and 7 is the successor of 5 because it comes after 6. Predecessor. Let us see the rule for predecessor. By subtracting 1 from the number, 
we get the predecessor of the number that is 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 7 is the predecessor of 8 successor let us see the rule for successor by adding 1 to the number we get the successor of the number that is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 5 is the successor of 4 thus we find the predecessor and successor for the numbers